They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but for one family, a 100-year-old piece of art left them speechless. We just never really expected to see it again. Betsy Raycotts has always heard of her grandmother, Cecilia, crocheting the picture of The Last Supper, but has never seen it. My grandma had crocheted it when she was about 14 years old for uh, to be on display at the altar at the church in St. Joe. When they remodeled it, it just got thrown in a box. By the late 1990s, that picture made its way to Assumption Community in Cold Spring, where Cecilia later became a resident. The print actually hung right on the wall, right in this space. They would wheel my grandma down, and, and when she would see the piece, you know, her, her hands would start moving as if she was crocheting it. After Cecilia's passing in 1999, her family went to visit a cousin also living at Assumption, only to find the picture was gone and no one knew where it was. When this part of the dining room disappeared and became the chapel, <laughs> the space became more of a spiritual focus, of course. So um, that Last Supper, the other prints that were hung within the dining room didn't make it back up. That is until staff found it earlier this month. We went to go clean out our storage area to make space for our marketing materials. And that's when we were like, oh, this piece, this letter that we've received, this is where it is. Overjoyed with emotion, Betsy, her sister Mary, and her mother Pauline were all able to see the picture firsthand. She hasn't seen it in how many years, and then to like see it like displayed so nicely, I mean, yeah, it took her breath away. The piece of art now resides with Ray Kotz, who says finding the piece after all these years is truly a miracle from heaven. For me, it was just magical just because of all the coincidences and, um, oh, there was a lot of weeping. <laughs> Alex Wykowski, WJON.